Your date of birth holds all the secrets to your soul. Huh? You give us your date of birth, we'll tell you the secrets to love, the secrets to lust, and who the best person for you just might be. I have the answers. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. So Hello, your Royal Majesty, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's weekly update. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Wateki, your host to the universe. And I've got something special to point out, Nikki Bright. Right now, she's got a Jumpstart Creativity Seminar. She's got two on sale at soulmart.me. This is a 90-minute seminar on webcam interacting with the class where in 90 minutes, she'll get you back in your inner princess or back in your inner prince. This is your heart chakra. And since Venus has moved into Leo, we've released these two seminars to help everyone get in their heart before Saturn's tests next month. So come on down to Somewhere Dummy, check it out. You will not be disappointed. And don't be disappointed that Carolyn's videos aren't out yet. We're going to move them up to the sun in Libra. Her Moon Goddess monthly reports will be available for download next week. So thank you for your patience. I apologize for that false uh, start. It's really my fault at the end of the day. Now we are in the Virgo state of awareness. That is the IB state of awareness. And for Leos, this is the focus of your values. Leos are like Virgos when it comes to what they're valuable at and what, not, they're, what they're not valuable at. You can be very detailed and you know Leos, I've known Leo women for instance that will throw away their whole soul capital hanging up on one bad hair day or one uh, piece of clothing they don't like. A detail can get in the way. And the thing is, is IB comes from the heart chakra, just like I love. And so soul capital come, is a part of your heart. If a Leo doesn't love themselves, they don't feel valuable. There are three stages, the live, the love, and the be stage. We've done the live stage, which is working on insecurities and self-esteem. We're now up to the love stage, which is taking that and manifesting with it. And by the end of the week, we'll move into the be stage, the master shui. So for Leos, uh, Virgo energy is soul capital. How you feel about yourself? We're working on the productivity, and by the end of the week, when we manifest the master shui abundance, which is the ability to receive unlimited of what you're worth, right? You've heard that buzzword before, I'm sure. So we start off on Monday. It's actually cloudy with a chance of anxiety for the royalty, the zodiac. That's because the moon is in your subconscious. It started there Sunday, pulling emotional focus to fears, weeds, and weeding your soul garden. Adding to the anxiety, the sun rules the day, uh, excuse me, Mars rules the day, which means it's time to take action and act on that soul capital. So Monday's really a day of kind of getting that faith behind taking action, and you might have some fears about moving forward, but really action will speak louder than any words. Now there's some themes I want to bring up uh, that are important and last all week. For one, Mercury is now ahead of the sun. So we begin to think ahead. We begin to plan ahead. And we're done thinking about the past. Thank God us for that. You're going to see reality seem to, reality will seem to move faster now that we're thinking ahead, even though it's probably moving at the same pace. Also, there's a trine going on all week. Uh, Venus has moved into Leo. So Leos are giving and receiving love now in the daily moment in their ego. Your egos are opening up and blossoming. In a way, this is your birthday presence just coming in, right? But a trining Uranus means, in some cases, it is your beliefs that have to innovate in order to receive that love in the moment, or receive that applause, or receive that praise. So keep a revolving ego belief structure going today and this week. And Saturn and Libra crossed over to the 27th degree, which is the last three degrees now. This means that your attitude will manifest instantly. So if you fall into negative thinking, it's gonna auto manifest. This is what I meant when I said you were out of time when it came to what you learned about your mind and managing your thoughts. You'll go quick into anxiety, quick into meltdown. You've gotta really stay uh, in your mind and stay peaceful in your mind when you are. Now on Tuesday, we're holding space. Uh, you're still stuck in the subconscious. The moon is in Cancer. Mother Earth rules the day, so we are squatting. In your case, you are squatting on what you feel you, uh, you are worth. So you are squatting on that new soul capital, squatting on that new productivity. Uh, the same time, w with the moon still in Cancer, you're also having to pull in all that inner faith in order to squat. So Tuesday might be a day where you don't know where things are going, or you don't know if you get the job, you don't know if you can have the money, and that's really just holding faith and squatting on Tuesday. 
On Wednesday, it's Love Fest Day, the most loving day of the month, and you are feeling sunny and super cool. That's because the moon moves into Leo, highlighting ego, personality, and charisma, and crossing Venus. Let's take a closer look at the planets. Now, Love Fest Day comes literally with the moon crossing Venus. Venus is our ability to give and receive. So right now, Venus and Leo means that Leos are going to be giving and receiving uh, for some time now, nearly a month. So this is a magical time for you. But with the moon crossing Venus, your emotions, you feel this love. You feel the self-love. So it's one thing to see it. It's another thing to feel it. And I think on, uh, on Wednesday and Love Fest Day, you are definitely feeling it. But there's also an interesting square that might have to be overcome to get to the joy between Mars and Scorpio down to the Venus and Moon conjunction. Mars and Scorpio is saying, in order to feel this love, you're going to have to draw an emotional boundary with yourself or at home to open up the love. So go forward, go forth, draw the boundary. And don't forget that trine between Venus and Uranus, which means you might have to shift or innovate a belief or open up to new beliefs in order to receive as well. So the universe is really anxious to pay you on Love Fest Day. Out of all the signs, you're gonna feel the best, but you do have to draw that emotional boundary and be uh, flexible with your beliefs. On Thursday, Jupiter rules the day, so it's kind of Love Fest Part Two. The moon is still in your sign, so you're sunny, happy, charismatic, and Jupiter ruling the day means it's time to explore. Now that we're at 21 degrees, we're in the master shui, which means now it's all about managing emotions to suit abundance getting your passion behind what you think you're worth. And today, Jupiter, you're exploring those possibilities. Maybe exploring business opportunities, exploring job opportunities, exploring money opportunities, or just exploring what it feels like to be passionate about your worth out in the world. Then comes Friday. Now, Friday is a Uranus day. It could go either way. You will be sunny and valuable once you break through, but you might have an emotional breakdown or fear in order to get to the breakthrough. So uh, there is a moment there of slipping or fear. Now, part of it is the moon has moved into Virgo, and so you are feeling the results of all of your soul capital work or lack thereof, right? That's part of it. Uh, and Mercury is also way ahead, so your mind is like in the future, your present is wherever it is, and your emotions are like maybe a day in the past. So Friday's a weird day, and that's why it's your honest day. You're bringing your mind, emotions, and I love awareness all together in alignment. In some cases, it's your mind that needs to innovate. In some cases, it's your emotions. But Friday is really preparation uh, for, um, uh, for light cast day, which is in 24 hours. One other interesting thing, this uh, opposition, for a few hours as you're trying to get your emotions behind your soul capital, you will have maybe a faith versus reality uh, here where you realize that maybe you have to change some boundaries with Neptune in order to open up to feeling valuable. So in other words, maybe you got all the evidence, but you just need to change a boundary, open up or close down to someone stealing. A little boundary change might get you into that synergy. Then on Saturday, it's Lightcast Day, the most powerful day of the month to manifest our intentions. And boy, did God universe give us a powerful one this particular uh, month. For one, you got Venus and Leo, so that makes you groovy. You will be cloudy on this day when you're light casting because it's a Mercury rule day, so it's a very heady day, and it's a very heady uh, light cast day. Light cast day is, of course, when the moon and the sun come together, and in this particular light cast day, we're also going to have Mercury. Let's take a look. <laughs> Lightcast Day is basically the new moon in astrology, sorry about that, where the moon and sun come together. As the moon approaches the sun, you might have to do some last minute emotional ridding of uh, insecurities, self-esteem, feeling fat, any kind of weird old icky feelings that are still stuck on what you believe you're worth. You got to get rid of them and face them dead on. So it's a purging of emotion as the moon heads for that. As the moon uh, crosses the sun and hits that apex, this is when you fill your heart with love and you cast, so you visualize and you cast and just hold emotional space for what you believe you are worth. Don't say lottery, just say abundance. And then when the moon crosses Mercury, this is now emotions and intellect coming together to be on the same team. So it's a double whammy of rainbow energy this particular light cast day where our emotions and I love and our emotions and intellect uh, basically come together. It's a very powerful day. Make sure you put out your intentions. If you're in Soul Garden, come on down. We'll have a ton of light cast blogs, uh, people of different signs writing with their light casting and how they do it. So there's no excuses to be unhappy, Your Majesty. That's all I got to say. On Sunday, it's a Venus rule day, but there might be some turbulence leading up to it. You are sunny and quite fertile on Sunday, and you might have to emotionally respond differently in order to click into that Venus good vibe. That's because of some other little aspects going on during the day. 
Uh, most of it deals with this. I call this a Bermuda Triangle. It's really a triangle of fear, basically, uh, and it happens in two phases. Two phases because at first the moon is in uh, Virgo, and then it crosses in the Libra the other half of the day and starts to shift into your mind. Now, basically, this is a triangle of fear, all right? And so although you're feeling very valuable, that doesn't mean you don't have other aspects that, of fear that need to be worked out. The moon uh, basically squaring Pluto means that you're going to feel maybe some fears with your lifestyle. Can you pull this off in your life? Can, does this new abundance, is it possible in your life? Can your health pull it off? Any kind of block between lifestyle, work style, and actual money. Maybe you're afraid you can't make money doing what you want. All right? And then, of course, the opposition that's going on to Uranus, once the moon hits into Libra, which is going to be a pensive part of the day and more of an intellectual part of the day on Sunday, suddenly your emotions are opposing uh, your beliefs. And so your thoughts and beliefs might be in a tug of war. So it is the facing the fears and then finding a synergy between thoughts and beliefs that finally click you into a nice Venus vibration. And this actually kicks us off for the next lesson. We come back here on uh, one day later, Monday, the moon in Libra is the emotional countdown to whether or not you graduate that Saturn Libra transit. So make sure this week you keep your mind and attitude on the right path because we come back in seven days, you will be tested. Check your act threes for more details. All right, your Royal Majesty, that's all I have for this week, but I'll be back in seven days with more. Until then, live, love, be.